It took them two years, and Dendro is finally here in Genshin Impact. Let's nip that in the butt. This video will talk about Tainari, but I'm going to assume you haven't done your homework and will explain everything you need to know about Dendro reactions. Simply put, Dendro reacts with Electro, Hydro, and Pyro. Think of Dendro like a plant. When plant meets fire, they burn. When plant meets water, they grow. And when plant meets Electro, I don't fucking know what happens. Anyways, forget about burning for now, since it's the easiest reaction. 3.0 introduces two big reactions, Quicken and Bloom. Quicken reaction is when Dendro and Electro are put together. This is the easiest reaction you can remember because all it does is they increase the damage of each other. Bloom reaction is when Dendro and Hydro are put together. This creates seeds, so-called Dendro cores. Then, there's three more things that happens around Dendro cores. If no element is applied to the Dendro cores, it will explode and do Dendro damage after 6 seconds. Alternatively, when there's more than 5 Dendro cores, excessive cores start to explode and do Dendro damage. If Dendro core is applied with Electro, it will turn into a homing missile that does Dendro damage. If Dendro core is applied with Pyro, it will do Dendro AoE. It looked very complicated to me as I was playing around with Dendro characters. The concepts were fine, but what confused me was the reaction that happens in between. To be honest, when you're using a team with Bennett, Sing Chu, Xiangling with a variation, you didn't really need to think about the order and rotations. However, when Dendro is introduced into a team, you will have to use certain rotations to make sure that you are triggering the reactions that you desire. What was underwhelming about Dendro reaction was not only did I have to follow the exact rotation order, but also the damage. It would be not fair for us to compare Dendro reactions with other reactions, but for instance, Melt and Vaporize are very straightforward and easy to trigger whether if reverse reaction happens or not, we still do very good amount of damage. This has to do with the Dendro characters that we have right now, Tainari and Kolei, or maybe the existing Hydro, Electro, and Pyro characters that we have. This topic will be covered again in the future in depth, but right now, we want to know whether if Tainari is worth it or not, so let's talk about him. Tainari is a 5-star Dendro Bow character, and spoiler, he's a quick sub character. His charge shots are like Ganyu, where his level 1 charge shot does elemental damage and level 2 charge shot does wrath arrow that creates 4 cluster bloom arrows that tracks down the enemy. However, his charging time is so slow to a point where you will not be able to play him like Ganyu. His E skill does AoE Dendro damage and creates illusion to taunt the enemy which is very good for Dendro reactions. In addition, this decreases the Wrath Arrow charging time by 2.4 seconds during the skill uptime or after 3 charge shots. This allows Tainari to do so many Dendro hits in short period of time. His Q skill creates 6 Tangle Vine Shafts that tracks the opponent and deal Dendro damage, and on hits, they create a secondary wave of Tangle Vine that tracks opponents and deals Dendro damage. Remember that the energy cost is 40. This is really good for a swap character, since you shouldn't worry about his energy recharge so much. Let's talk about his passive, Keen Sight. After firing a level 2 charge shot, Tainari Elemental Mastery is increased by 50 for 4 seconds, and Scarlerly Blade, for every point of Elemental Mastery, his charge attack and his Q damage are increased by 0.06% and it is capped at 1000 EM. With the information above, I had to check if he is better to build with attack or EM, so I did a quick testing. Without even thinking, I wanted to build a team around Tainari so that his Dendro damage would be his main source of damage. I built him like how I would build a DPS with two variations, one with EM Sands and one with attack Sands. This is with double attack buffer, so I can see the result in extreme test condition. Teamwork is dreamwork! Storm the front! I hear everything! One with the farts! Let 
me try. Solidify. Teamwork is dream work. Storm the front. I hear everything. One with the forest. I did more skill damage with the Texans, however, his charge shot was stronger with the EM build, so I'm going to be fixing his build with EM Sands. You would want to build him with the new Dendro set, and this should be considered as the only option for your Dendro characters, unless you're gonna be using two Dendro characters in a team. You may considerably go for a Wanderer set or any other set that gives you attack or EM, but you would eventually want to finish farming for deep wood memories. For his weapons, if you do not have his best in slot weapon, you can go for a bow that can give you skill damage or EM, charge shot damage bonus or whichever one that benefits you. Going for Favonius or Sacrificial Bow looks a little weird since he doesn't really fit in as a support character. You could be using Amos Bow, Skyward Harp, Black Cliff, Very Descent Hunt, Stringless, and so on. Before we talk about his best team, I would like to tell you that he doesn't seem to be a great Dendro character. Quick swap characters are always good, but because of the way his skills work, I found it very hard to apply Dendro to the enemy after using his Q, E, and 3 charge shots. I had a problem when I was trying to create as many Dendro cores as possible to detonate them, and also creating seed and swapping to another character to either create Burgeon or Hyper Bloom wasn't rewarding compared to how much damage I was doing for all that time it takes. So, I have come to a conclusion that Tainari would be the best with Yaimiko, Zongli, and Fischl. This team comp really depends on how strong your Yai Miko is, and I just want to let you know that properly built Yai Miko can create so much damage. Also, her random targeting makes things even better because of the ICD. Fischl can also use LOG Bow, which will boost your Yai Miko damage even further. Alternatively, you could be using Kazuha simply because he just doubles Yai Miko's damage. I tried to show the difference, but my team just cleared Dendro Domain so fast I was a little disappointed. Well, like I said, the team comp that I recommend heavily depends on how strong your Yaimiko is. My first impression on Tainari is that I wish he was able to apply Dendro on demand, like as if he was a Catalyst user. I would have been able to try out non-stop Bloom team to abuse the new reaction and see a bunch of green damage. However, I'm hoping that the result that I have seen from my experiments is because I either don't know so much about this game or only because we don't have all the Sumeru characters yet. I really hope that the Tainari is kind of mid, not because he's going to be added in the standard banner in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Your support means everything to me, and I hope to see you in the next video.